For businesses and organizations looking into solar, we know that understanding how you can financially benefit from solar is of utmost importance. That's where net metering comes into play. With net metering, you can significantly cut your energy costs with your solar system's electricity production. It can be a confusing topic, but by the end of this video, you'll know all about how net metering works and its benefits. Welcome back everyone, I'm Eric, and this is Going Solar with Pivot Energy, where we cover all things solar energy, commercial solar, solar financial incentives, and community solar. So, what is net metering? At its core, net metering is a billing mechanism provided by utility companies based on policy created by state governments, which varies depending on where you live. And here's how it works. If you have solar installed on your commercial building and that system produces more energy than what is being instantaneously consumed on site, that excess energy is exported or sent back to the electric grid. When you have a solar energy system that's designed to produce the same amount of energy that a building consumes, it is designed to produce more energy during the day than your business actually uses. Net metering allows you to receive a credit on your utility bill for the net amount of electricity that you contributed to the grid. We'll dig deeper into this in a second. But you know that electric meter that's on the side of your building? Well, when you create extra energy from solar, your electricity meter actually spins backwards, meaning that you use less electricity than what you consume from the grid. How cool is that? Well, that's what net metering is. The net amount of energy you produce from your solar production compared to what your building consumes in any given month. There's several great benefits of net metering, so let's start with the one that benefits your bank account. The first advantage of net metering is that it can save you money. Now what business doesn't want to cut expenses? When your solar power system generates more electricity than you use over the course of a month, you will receive a credit based on the net number of kilowatt hours you gave back to the grid. If you produce less electricity from solar than you use in a given month, you must buy that excess electricity from your utility to make up the difference. In these instances, you would pay for the electricity you use minus the electricity the solar panels generated. So let's recap. During the sunny part of the day, your solar system produces more energy than your building consumes, spinning your meter backwards. At night, when the sun goes down, your building consumes electricity generated by your utility, which spins your meter forwards. In states with one-for-one -one net metering policy, the cost you pay your utility will be the net difference between the total of the electricity you consumed minus the electricity generated by your solar power system. Net metering has the potential to reduce your consumption based electricity charges to zero. And if you produce more solar energy in a given month, some utilities also allow you to carry that credit forward to apply to electricity consumption in the next month. Regardless, you're saving money. Before we get into more benefits, give this video a thumbs up if you've already learned something and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of our other solar videos. Okay, on to the next benefit of net metering. With net metering, the utility bill savings can shorten the payback period for the cost of your solar system. I'm not sure if you realize, but electricity costs have been increasing and are forecasted to continue to go up in the future. Based on the cost of your consumption-based charges on your bill, every kilowatt hour of solar energy you produce with net metering policy in place provides a corresponding reduction in your retail electricity cost, which can be quantified as returns against the total cost of purchasing the solar array. The amount of time it takes to pay off your system from the bill savings and the other incentives that reduce your system's total cost is referred to as your payback period. Depending on the ever-increasing price you pay your utility for electricity, the bill savings decrease the time it takes for the system to pay for itself compared to continuing to purchase electricity from your utility. I always like to point out that if you do not go solar, you're going to continue to pay your electric bill to the utility for the electricity you consume. That is why solar is a great investment, because it applies money you have to spend anyway to a means of generating financial returns and owning your own power plant. Also, 
by saving money on your utilities, you'll have more cash flow to deploy elsewhere. Another benefit is that the clean electricity generated by your solar panels lightens the strain on the public electricity distribution, which is a huge help to utility companies. In fact, net metering policies create a smoother demand curve for electricity and allow utilities to better manage their peak electricity loads. Net metering encourages electricity generation near the point of consumption, aka it's more localized, so it reduces the strain on distribution systems and prevents losses in long distance electricity transmission and distribution. Plus, you contribute to decreasing the amount of non-renewable, unsustainable resources on the utility grid, like fossil fuels. In some states though, rules on net metering incentives are different and won't allow you to reap as many benefits. So let's get acquainted with some of the different types of incentives and rules, depending on where you are in the country. Pretty much every state has varying policies and benefits when it comes to net metering. For example, some states offer credit benefits that have expiration dates instead of rolling them over to the next annual or monthly billing cycle. If you don't use them by the end of the month or year, excess credits can be granted to the utility company instead of to you the customer, or they are purchased by utilities at a wholesale rate, which is a fraction of the retail cost you pay for power. It is very important to understand your state's net metering policy to avoid your solar energy production being devalued to a wholesale rate, as this can have a negative effect on your financial gains. There's also something called aggregate net metering, which exists in 17 states. It's a program that's designed for businesses to offset electricity usage from multiple meters on a single business property by using just one solar energy system that where the solar energy system may or may not need to be located on the property. With aggregate net metering, the credits you generate from solar energy production can be applied to offset the electricity consumption from multiple meters, and potentially from any nearby properties where you do not have solar panels. There can be a lot of caveats and differences depending on where you are in the US and that specific policy, so it's best to reach out to us here at Pivot Energy as we can help you understand your specific state's policy. Navigating and understanding solar's financial benefits options, and how everything works together can be overwhelming. Please lean on us here at Pivot Energy. Whether you are just starting to plan for a solar project, ready to install, or are exploring financing options, Pivot can help you every step along the way. We are a turnkey solar energy company that specializes in taking care of every aspect of your solar journey from start to finish. We provide free consultations for businesses looking to explore solar energy projects. We analyze your electric bills and your property and then provide you with a free cost production and savings estimate so that you can make the most educated decision about your potential project. Have questions or want to get started? Reach out via my email in the description below or head over to pivotenergy.net to learn more. I hope you enjoyed today's video and learned all about net metering. If you thought this video was helpful, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you get notified when we post our latest videos on commercial solar, community solar, financing, and clean energy solutions. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.